Hi guys, now we're going to make a no knead sourdough. This one is really easy, I can't stress enough about this. You literally have all these ingredients, mix it all up into sort of like what I call a paste. Uh, depending on the temperature of your kitchen, you can leave it out overnight, which I often do sometimes. Uh, but you know, during the summer months, I would put it in the fridge and let it prove up in the fridge overnight. The, no, the best thing about this no knead sourdough is literally once you make it to a paste, leave it to bulk ferment and you know, prove and stuff. It, it naturally sort of sh shapes and, uh, and becomes the dough that you want. So yeah, let's, let's start making it and then we'll see from start. Okay guys, now we're gonna start with the water first. So this is 650 grams. Just, you know, tepid water, blood temperature. Here I have now the 300 grams of active ferment. I'll just give that a little mix inside, just to you know mix it all in to get this all incorporated. Okay, now we're just giving that a little mix. I will now add the flour. which is one kilo strong white flour. But now we're just gonna mix this into, like I said, just a little paste or sticky paste. Leave it to hydrate the flour for about 20 minutes, and then we'll add the salt. Just make sure we're getting all them little bits and nothing's left behind, any, any flour or anything like that. Just get it all mixed in and all right together. Just leave that to hydrate for 20 minutes, and then come back to it. Okay guys, now we waited 20 minutes. You see now that our, our paste is sort of like hydrated now, it's got a bit more body to it. Now we're gonna add our salt to it and then literally work it in. Work that in with your hands, like you know, squelch it together and just literally mix it all around again to make sure everything is easy, evenly seasoned. Cover that with a airtight lid, um, like I said, you can either prove this in the fridge overnight or you can leave it out depending on the temperature of your kitchen. Okay guys, now uh, your dough is proved up double in size, either overnight or you can leave it out for a few hours. I've now tipped it out onto the bench. I'm just going to, you know, sort of put both of them in half. Here I would, you know, just give it a little sort of like rough shape. Uh, same here again for this one. It's a little rough shape and then just come back in about 20 minutes and then we'll drop it into our baskets okay now it's been 20 minutes uh, our bread is now ready to go into our floured bannetons so I would literally just pick it up just leave it in there like that same again for this one then you could either cover this with some cling film or spray it with a little bit of oil, put it into a carrier bag or, you know, just leave it out for a couple of hours just to prove up a little bit more and then we'll get ready to bake. Okay guys, now we're going to make a cartouche. We need this for the bottom of our bread when we turn it out to stop it sticking to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so fold it in half first. And then I tend to bring it around this way. So I fold here. I would then go over again, fold. So now, if you open it out, this point here should be in the middle. So that's your point. That's what you you want as a as a an arrow sort of thing to be where you're going to. So this end here, you would then bring up, and then almost fold it to sort of like a triangle shape. Fold it there, then we fold it over again on itself, like that, fold it in half, and then what I would do is the shape of your banneton basket or something like that. You can... So now we're going to measure it, so you want your point roughly in the middle. I always allow for a little extra, not too much. Yeah. So you use a pair of scissors to cut it. And then if you just fold it out, and then it should just fit right there on the top. Okay guys, now we're ready to go. We've got our cartouche ready. We've got our preheated cast iron pans to cook our bread in. 
I said the oven is now preheated at 230 degrees. So what you want to do is be very careful. This is going to be really hot. Okay. So open our sheet out. Yeah, I tend to use like a little tray or something just to help me flip the bread over. Voila. And then I, you can score it however you want. You can do like a little crisscross. You can, I've seen people do like circle ones, but I tend to just, just one, that's it. It's just to help when the bread proves. So it bakes up, okay, and then you just put it into the pot, and then just put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and then we'll take the lid off, and then bake it for another 10. Okay guys, now our sourdoughs are out of the oven. As I said, we cooked it for 20 minutes the lid on, and I took the lid off, and then cooked it for another 10 minutes, and then that's it. Hear that? Completely hollow. Lovely smell to it as well. Again, just let it cool down, and then when you're ready to eat, just cut into it. I recommend just butter with this one though.